animals that live underground. All my little readers know that the rabbit makes his home underground. But how many know that there are many other animals in this country who dig down into the earth and spend a good deal of their time there? These are not animals you will often see, although some of them are much larger than rabbits. Here is a fox, a sly, cunning fellow, cruel and greedy. His coat is a reddish colour, and you will see he has a bushy tail, a long pointed nose and big teeth. He kills and eats fowls, ducks, rabbits and all small animals and is often very daring in the way he raids their homes. He makes a large hole underground, usually among bushes or in a wood, but sometimes he will take a rabbit's hole and enlarge it. A she-fox is called a vixen. She is every bit as cruel as her mate, but she is very good to her cubs and plays with them just like a cat with her kittens. A very different kind of animal is the mole, the gentleman in the fur coat. He makes a most elaborate house underground, as you may see in the picture. He digs a very long passage leading to his nest, and other passages leading from it in all directions. Usually, he makes two rooms in his house, one above the other. His front paws are shaped like shovels, and he can dig very fast. He cannot really walk on them, as they are turned sideways. He has such small eyes that it is doubtful if he can see at all. He lives on worms and grubs, and has such a tremendous appetite that he is always at work digging for them. A strange animal, Mr Mole. A very handsome and striking fellow is the badger. He is very seldom seen, as he only comes out late in the evening. He builds a house with two or three rooms in it, and many passages, sometimes ten feet underground. He keeps his nest very clean, and even digs a pit as a dustbin near his home. He loves eggs and eats all kinds of small animals and birds. He usually sleeps all through the winter. The otter is an animal with a tail like a fish, who lives mainly in the water, but can travel fast on land. He makes his nest in a hole in a bank, often with one entrance under water and one on the land side. Rats and mice build underground runs and nests, and the tiny shrew, although he does not seem to make them himself, will often live in them if they are left. Another little creature, which you might easily mistake for a rat, and which indeed is often called a water rat, that makes an underground home is the water vole. He burrows into the bank of a stream or pond and often makes an entrance underwater as well as above. This often enables him to escape from his enemies, the owls and stoats on land and the herons and large fish like pike in the water. He loves to eat the juicy stalks and grasses that grow near the water, but sometimes he will eat snails and even toads. He has a brother called the Field Vole, which makes a large number of underground passages, but only uses them to store food in. Most curious of all the creatures that live underground, perhaps, is the one you see most often, the earthworm. He not only lives underground and makes a nest by lining it with leaves, but he makes his way through the earth by swallowing it. 